But I, I want to turn to a, a study in, in the Pew Research uh, showing that women uh, have become the, uh, the breadwinners in this country and a lot of other concerning and troubling statistics. But our society is being torn in so many directions right now. It, 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 this stuff is really at the margin when you watch uh, the Republicans and the Democrats, this president, his scandals, uh, and, the, and the appropriate investigation by the Republicans. When we're watching society dissolve around us, Juan, what do you think? Lou, I just think it, this should be in large letters on the front page of every newspaper in America because what we're seeing with four out of ten families now, the woman is the primary breadwinner. You're seeing the disintegration of marriage. You're seeing men who were hard hit by the economic recession in ways that women weren't. But you're seeing, I think, systemically, larger than the political stories that we follow every day, something going terribly wrong in American society, and it's hurting our children. And it's going to have impact for generations to come. And Left, right, I don't see how you can argue this. And, and you, you, you mentioned children. And those are the children who survived 54 million abortions since Roe v. Wade. 54 million in this country. What has been the impact of that? What does it say about our society? Uh, our, our high school dropouts. Eric, your thoughts on this, on this study and, uh, and what well, it pretends? It, Lou, I'm so used to liberals telling conservatives that they're anti-science, but I mean, th this is liberals who defend this and say it's not a bad thing are very anti-science. When you look at biology, look at the natural world, the roles of, of a, a male and a female in society and other animals, the, the male typically is the, the dominant role, the, the female it's not antithesis or it's not competing, it's a complementary role. We as people in a smart society have lost the ability to have complementary relationships uh, in nuclear families. And it's it's tearing us apart. The, and what I find interesting in the survey is that three quarters of the people surveyed recognize that having moms as the primary breadwinner is bad for kids and bad for marriage. It, and reality shows us that's the truth. Well, it, the politicians won't say it. That's yeah, what bothers right. me, Eric. You know what? They what, they're so scared. They're so much a bunch of I, you know. But they they won't admit it's a this. war on women. And I gotta Lon. tell you, it is tearing apart minority communities even worse than white communities in this country. Doug? Yeah, look, I think I would associate myself completely with what Juan is saying. I wrote a biography once of Daniel Patrick Moynihan, wrote about it, about it in 1965. This is a catastrophic issue, and sadly, no one on the left, right, or center is dealing with the breakdown of family structure. We're losing a generation. Bottom line, it could undermine our social order. It, it, and it, it may in fact be doing that as, as we look at the, uh, the absolute uh, disaster that is our public education system mm -hmm. and, and the fictions that have grown up around uh, what we've done to local schools. I mean, we've got a Department of Education, which is no, no replacement or substitute or even adequate, to, frankly, uh, complement to local school districts having control of those schools, the community. And we've got the, the left and the right, and Juan's talking about it in, in, in racial terms, talking about it's even hitting uh, minority communities harder. If it hits a community, until we get this through our head, if it hits any community in this country, it hits our community. And this is not something that is, in my opinion, debatable. We are playing cannon fodder to the political rhetoricians who want to use the language of and division and we really need to tell them to go to hell and we kind of need to say it <laughs> the, first and foremost the, right here in the national media the people that want school choice and benefit school cho from school choice the most are poor African Americans and Hispanics yeah we're not talking about school choice you were talking about education I'm talking about education and I don't want to hear the partisan words I don't want to hear it's the ideological partisan. nonsense well it, 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 let's more more talk about for teaching our kids how to read to write, express themselves, uh, and, and, and to build relationships. Eric, you're going to get the last word here. You know, it becomes more difficult for Republicans these days because they're so scared of the idea of the war on women and, and raising this issue. It sounds anti-women. The Democrats bash them for it. But then to the basic point, we've got a society of elites who not only don't think this is a bad thing, they're raising kids in yeah. schools to be workers, not citizens.